It's chunky. Sound like a zinc. It's it's a uh, 1981. It's the last year they made a copper penny. Yep. Another coin right here. Sounds like a penny. Oh, it is a penny. Look at it. Look at this thing, man. <clears throat> it's on its edge right there. See it? It's just like that. See it? Right there. Now oh, it's crusted in there. I'll pop it out here. Look at that right there. I'll just slide it right out of the ground right here. Yeah. Ooh, it's greeny, man. Look at that green stuff on it. Zinky in the bag and garbage. You gonna go off? Yeah. How in the hell does a coin like that? end up on its edge and sit there for that long, man. That's crazy. That's just baffling, man. There's a screw right there. There's a screw right there. I'll throw it off the side there. So I don't get a flat tire. a little bit here because I'm on a hill. down the hill, extend it out. That's what I like about telescoping metal detectors. You can adjust them right now, right? With the older machines, with those damn cam, cam locks, you don't have a lot of adjustment. You have like one inch increments, and I don't want one inch increments anymore, right? Metal detectors should have these telescoping detect uh, rods, right? These shafts should go down pretty short. And it just makes it so much more comfortable to swing. When you're detecting for 12 hours a day, like I do, 12 to 14 hours a day, it makes it a lot easier to detect for long hours if you have your detector just the right length for your conditions. In tall grass, you have to have it shorter. If you're walking down a hill, you have to have it longer. If you're walking up a hill, you have to have it a lot shorter. If you're underneath the bushes, you have to have it shortened down all the way, compacted. <clears throat> okay, shorten it up a little bit here because I'm going up the hill again. All right. I'm getting a lot of high tones on the nails here because it's in gravel. I have it running pretty hot right now. 
my ground balance is up pretty high too. Some, some can slaw right on the surface, bottle cap. I won't be taking that home with me. Now I'll extend it out because I'm going down the hill again. All right. Working my way up, crisscrossing this gravel here, right? Found four coins doing this right here. Four coins in the gravel. Right? Nothing special, but at least it's something. Shorten it up a little bit here. Right. About a half an inch. I do everything I can do to make it easier to metal detect, right? Most of the time I'll try to make it so I feel comfortable. You know, I'll have my hand digger in the right spot, my bag in the right spot, my pinpointers accessible, and knee pads on, the right boots. You know, if I wear my older set of boots, you know, it's kind of uncomfortable. But I do need to, uh, soften these boots up put some conditioner on it on them so i'll be using them for long hours here in the next few months detecting every day lengthen it up just a little bit here I'm go side over here. okay i'm gonna go home Shorten it up here a little bit. So like a penny. There's another one. There's a target. It is not a penny. It is some brass. It looks like a sprinkler head or something. Some kind of nozzle. Some brass fitting. Some junk. It's a washer or a nut. This can be a nut. Right there. There's iron everywhere here, right? I gotta turn off my pin warmer. I think it's gonna go crazy. It's a piece of iron. A little plate to something. Back plate to something. We'll keep that. I'll just Hey, is there any way I can detect your front yard here? Your front yard? Can I detect your front yard? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Big iron there.
Some junk here. Oh, it's over here. I didn't think it would be over here. I, I, it's probably in the junk over here. It just didn't sound very good. The ground is really moody here. Oh, I gotta go easy with it because it could be a relic, man. Oh, it's deeper. Just give me something big. Oh, man. Oh, I think I just broke it. Yeah, it's gonna be something, something right there. No, something big. I don't want to go for it. It's too big. It changed tones too. Sounds kind of junky too. And that's how fast you can get permissions. Just ask, right? And it's best when people are outside doing yard work. That's when I've had the best luck of getting permissions when people are outside doing yard work. This could be something big too. I, it kind of sounded big, deep anyway. Big and deep. So I won't, I won't be digging too much deeper here. It's a nail right there. But it's something deeper. I'm just gonna leave that there. It sounded junky. I'll come back later on. I really need to get home. Junk, right? Change tones on me completely. See how it's staying the same tone? It's staying almost the same tone as I rotate on it, so I'm gonna dig this one out, right? I'll, I'll be able to extract this one out. Right, when they change tones on, on you, it's harder to find them, and it's probably gonna be junk, right? This one's probably a penny. It is a penny, right there. Right there. The tones change on you and you rotate on it. You know, you want to find the center of that target. And then you rotate on it. And if it starts moving on you, it's probably going to be some junk or maybe a coin on its edge. But the main thing that I'm looking for is to stay the same tones as I'm rotating on it. If it gives me some iron grunts on it, it's going to be iron most of the time. But if it changes tones just a little bit lower, a little bit higher tones, I dig them up, right? It's probably a coin around some iron there. Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.